Welcome back to SoundersFC.com. I'm Tony Ventrella. It's Monday, it's raining, and that sort of symbolizes the mood around Sounders training today as the team tries to pick up the pieces after the loss of Steve Zakawani. Just three minutes into Friday evening's match, Zakawani was tackled by Colorado's Brian Mullen. Mullen was immediately red-carded and ejected from the match. Zakawani lay there in pain, his leg broken in two places. Coach Ziggy Schmidt refused to watch the graphic replay of that tackle until last night. My wife forced me to look at a replay. Uh, I've only seen it one time, you know, uh, but, you know, it's, uh, like I said, I mean, I heard it there. I didn't want to necessarily see it again. I mean, I, I knew what the ramifications of it were, um, you know, and now, uh, you know, it's in the hands of the league now, too, as to what, what they're going to do and, and what kind of stand they're going to take. While the coach is choosing his words carefully, veteran keeper Casey Keller is a little more direct. It's always difficult when, like you said, you know, tough challenges are tough challenges and somebody gets rolled up underneath you or something happens. But you know, when it is something where it is so blatant that it is, uh, that's even harder to swallow. Defender Patrick Iani is a close friend of Zakawani's and has spoken to Steve since Friday night, but not much about the play or the injury. We haven't talked too much about the injury or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm sure everyone's asking how you feeling, blah, blah, blah. So. Um, as a good friend, I don't want to be another one, you know, asking the same questions. So I just try to take his mind off of it and ask him other questions. Is, um, you know, luckily his mom was able to make it out, and it, actually his mom and dad. Training in the cold rain at Starfire today, the team is focused on its next match against Toronto and on filling in for their talented midfielder. There's a lot of different options, you know, you know, to look at. I mean, uh, certainly Fernandez, uh, who came in the match and played in the wide position. Uh, uh, Freebird played there when we when Steve couldn't play in the game in New York, you know. So that's another possibility. Lamar Nagel has done well in the reserve games. He's somebody else who can play wide. You know, Michael Tete right now. Tete is probably a better uh, wide midfielder than he is left back. So he's a possibility. You know, you know, Miguel Montano is somebody who can play there. Needs to be sharper at practice on a daily basis in order to get his, himself in there. But uh, you know, those are all guys. And and then we can always alter a little bit the way we play. Difficult, and uh, we got to move on. Obviously, he was a huge part of our team uh, over the last. You know amount of time he's played you know I think he's been responsible for 40 percent of kind of our total offense this season alone so uh, it's going to be tough but we have guys who need to step up and and, and prove uh, their worth and it's a good opportunity for them. And while the team sees who will take advantage of that opportunity they're also holding out hope that Steve will be back sooner than later. He'll be fine um, that's one thing I know for sure um, if I could say that about any person it'd be Steve for sure um, and I, you know, I think there's not too much you can do at first uh, for a while, um, but uh, when he, you know, once he can get to work in a rehab, and uh, he'll work hard to get back at it, and um, he'll be back as as soon as possible for sure. Yeah, Steve will bounce back. I'm sure he will, and uh, it's going to be a tough few months, and then he'll, you know, I'm, I'll go out on a limb and say he'll be back for the playoffs. So it'll be uh, hopefully he'll good quick recovery. It will be a long road back, uh, getting Zakawani healthy and back on the field again. But uh, for the rest of the team, the rest of the season is out there, and there is a lot of work to be done beginning this weekend against Toronto at Quest Field. I'm Tony Ventrella, SoundersFC.com.